Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro channel. I'm super pumped because I just had an awesome day out with the boys on the Fender Bender Speedway 2.0. And you're probably saying to yourself, what am I looking at as I panned back and forth across the track? I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to see the track layout because the tubes are white. And you also have the white lines running in the opposite direction for the parking spots. But the Fender Bender Speedway has grown in size twice as big as what it used to be. It was originally just in the shape of a T. Then we added another couple turns to it. But now it's a full-blown on-road RC racetrack. Definitely awesome. Phil did a great job. He anchored in all the white PVC tubing, and then later on I threw out some sandbags on there, which you'll see momentarily as I share with you some warm-up laps from some of my RCs. And those, uh, those sandbags hold everything in place and really outline the track for you to see. Plus I get some aerial footage standing up on a ladder, so that's pretty cool. I thought we had seen it. Ari, 20.41. Five minutes of racing. First Ari, followed by Bubba, then Phil. Ari, 19.76. Nineteen point seven five. Hurry, eighteen point three eight. One minute of racing. First hurry, followed by Phil, then the uncle, the uncle, eighteen point seven zero. Carl, seventeen point seven four. Good. 26.11, Ari, 18.35, Carl, 17.43, Bianco, 19.60, New Best Lap, Garrett, 16.89, Ari, 18.50, New Best Lap, Carl, So yeah. Our official race season has not started yet. It will be coming up shortly. Exactly when, I can't say. But uh, we were just out there running our usual race classes, our Euro Truck class, our Stock class, our 21.5 Sakura race class, and our Mod class. Just out there having some fun uh, before the official season starts. Um, but for me, the most exciting part of the day was this right here. That's right, it's my new 110 scale four wheel drive shaft driven Express Arrow AT1S. Now, this is based on their Execute line of RCs, which is their higher level with all the bells and whistles, plus those are belt driven. They took that design and scaled it down into a more budget friendly version that's shaft driven. It retails for roughly about $140. So what do you get for this $140? Well, like I said, it's shaft-driven four-wheel drive with a plastic shaft. You get a floating gearbox to reduce torque steer. Your chassis, your top deck, and your shock mounts are all fiberglass to reduce weight. You get full bearings throughout. Check that out. You get a nice, beefy foam bumper in the front. I'm going to need that because I hit a lot of stuff, hence Fender Bender Speedway. You get universal joints all around. You have these beautiful red anodized oil filled shocks. You have a aluminum slotted motor mount, which allows you to slide the motor back and forth to easily mesh the gears. 
Speaking about gears, this comes with a 64 pitch spur gear. I just happened to switch mine to a 48 pitch 68 tooth spur. You have a gear diff in the rear, but in the front you have a spool. Get these really cool body support braces, so this way your body doesn't bottom out and scratch the floor. You also get these spring-loaded battery retainer clips. You could also adjust your shock angles to multiple positions. And finally, for full tunability, you have turnbuckles to adjust your camber and toe. So you're definitely getting a lot of nice features for your money. What you are not getting is the body and all your electronics and radio gear. Now that stuff can get pretty pricey. As a matter of fact, I probably spent double on the body to paint the body and throw in all the electronics and it did the actual price of the rolling chassis. Now this body is painted up by Custom RC Graphics over on Instagram, does phenomenal work. I had one of these painted that I was gonna throw on my Sakura, but then I decided to put it on here. Speaking of my Sakura, had a fun day out with this also, but broke it. It's a good thing I invested in a lot of parts for this, so I'll have to get this up and running. But I love this, love this one too. Belt driven, shaft driven, a lot of similarities, but some differences as well. Now in mine, I am running a Reedy Sonic S Plus 175 turn brushless motor and a Reedy Black Box 600Z uh, speed controller and I have a Savox. I don't know the exact model number of it but I'll throw a picture up um, servo and I'm just running a simple radio link receiver. What's really cool is they give you a little area to mount your fan right to that nice aluminum motor mount so it's all one nice little package right there. That's pretty cool. But other than that, I was really, really impressed with this, and I definitely would recommend it. As far as the build, well, I really couldn't tell you how the build went, and there's no build video for this because I didn't build it. <laughs> I cheated. I actually gave it to Tom, um, one of the guys I hang with. He's a semi-pro driver, and he built this for me, so I have to give him credit. And one of his friends, who's actually a pro driver, took over for him. Yeah, yeah, it's a long story, but... He was to say, he was like, hey, I'll build it for you. I ran over to his house, dropped it off, and he built it overnight for me. And I can't thank him enough. So thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you with a couple uh, laps of me going around the Fender Bender Speedway 2.0. Okay. And uh, ah, that seemed kind of dorky. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave you with me doing some laps with this just so you can see it in action. And uh, you can look forward to some racing videos coming up in the not-too-distant future. That makes sense? Not-too-distant future? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Not-too-distant future. Um, yeah. All right. Enjoy that footage, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care now.